Acquired diaphragmatic hernias. The diaphragm is a major muscle of respiration and is the second most important muscle after the heart. The muscular diaphragm originates from the six lowest ribs on both sides, from the posterior xiphoid process, and from the external and internal arcuate ligaments. 1.6% of patients admitted to the hospital for blunt trauma have a diaphragmatic hernia. The male to female ratio is 4 is to 1. Blunt trauma accounts for 75% of the ruptures, while penetrating trauma accounts for 25% of the rupture. Approximately 69% of the hernias are left-sided, 24% are right-sided and 15% are bilateral. The left side rupture is more common because of hepatic protection, the increased strength of the right hemidiaphragm, and from weakness in points of diaphragmatic embryologic fusion. The clinical findings include marked respiratory distress, decreased breath sounds on the affected side, auscultation of bowel sounds in the chest, paradoxical movements of the abdomen with breathing, and diffuse abdominal pain. Chest X-ray is a most useful diagnostic tool. It shows abdominal contents in the thorax, nasogastric tube in the thorax, and an elevated hemidiaphragm. Rarely thin section CT scans might be necessary. In recent times, Focus abdominal sonography for trauma is becoming a popular mode of examination. Barium swallow with a thin barium can demonstrate presence of stomach and intestines in the thorax. The closure requires a surgical treatment. In acute setting, laparotomy and closure is uh, advocated. Minimally invasive techniques are becoming popular. With advances in technology and surgical skills, repairing both acute and chronic diaphragmatic hernias is possible with laparoscopic, thoracoscopic and combined approaches. This video shows uh, laparoscopic closure of a uh, one month old uh, diaphragmatic hernia in a child who presented with uh, abdominal pain following blunt trauma.